use every lawful means to stop them. So going to the Supreme Court is the first lawful thing uh, since the appeal uh, was thrown out that we are doing. So we're going to the Supreme Court and uh, hopefully uh, we will overcome uh, at the Supreme Hopefully we will come out uh, more triumphantly than, the, than in the past. It's our attempt to appeal to all Ghanaians. It's our attempt to bring to the attention of many more Ghanaians that there's something uh, wrong happening. There's something wrong happening to public lands. Uh, so Achimota School is a classic example of what is happening to many other public entities. You know, and, so, and so the public should be interested. Uh, somebody might say, oh, I didn't go to Achimota School, so why should I worry? Yes, uh, you don't know when your grandchildren will go to Achimota School. So you should be worried for that reason. Uh, yes, we will use, we will do everything possible, everything possible, lawful, to ensure that uh, uh, the Osu uh, stool does not have uh, permanent uh, access to the 172 acres. We know, for example, that the intention is to sell uh, the land to property developers. Hmm? It's our responsibility to make sure that uh, all property developers are forewarned that uh, if you buy a Chipotle school land, you will never find peace. That's, that's, you, know, you will never find peace. Long after we have left, the students in the school will fight you. We will not be there. But every, old, every Achimotan currently there in the future will fight you. So everybody should know that buying Achimota school land means never finding peace. If you're a banker and you're going to lend any money to an investor to develop Achimota school land, we will make sure that you never find peace. Hmm? And how do we do it? By, make, by making the world aware of your supporting illegal acts. You know, today, we live in a, a world where information is very important. So we will, we will do our best to have uh, banks blacklisted for supporting investments on uh, Achimota school land. Hmm? Individuals who buy Achimota school land we will do our best to make them feel as bad as possible. Hmm? The whole idea is anybody who buys Achimota school land should never find peace whatever it is, they belong to the school. That's the most important thing. So far, uh, there's haven't seen any one judgment that has questioned Achimota School's ownership of the land. Every single case uh, where there has been some kind of uh, dispute, it's not been over ownership. It's been about whether you used it to, uh, at the right time or whether you followed the right procedure in going to court and so on. There's never been any uh, doubt about the ownership of the land, and that's the point we want to make. So if a court is going to hand over 172.68 acres to somebody, uh, it's more important that the court establishes that the land no longer belongs to the school. For us, that's the bottom line. The court to establish that the land no longer belongs to the school. Then we take it from there. But to argue that uh, the school board lacks the capacity to uh, litigate is for us unacceptable. It's, it, 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 it defies everything moral and it defies everything that go good governance accepts.